Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today I am giving you a project, but I will still teach you how it was built. So this is a 3D printable ring sizer. You print them out, you put rubber bands on it. These have the odd and even ring sizes that are most common. And these are absolutely awesome if you're working with any of my 3D printed ring tutorials. Of course, friends, I do want to highlight I have built this because of the fun ring with letters tutorial. Of course, friends, this does have a tutorial. You'll find the link up above and it lets you 3D print your own ring with custom words. I'll also make sure there is a link in the cards and the properties of this video so you can find these really easily. If you've never seen code blocks before, let me show you this to you quick. There are parameters that we put in, including the ring size. And then you just come down and change the words to say whatever you want. Right now, mine says go lions. And when I hit play, you will see it pop up and build the ring that says go lions in almost no time. Once you're done, you can simply export it as an STL for 3D printing. The trick I used for building this was to find this chart right here, which was on the web, where size 3 was 14, size 4 was 14.8. This gave me the diameter in millimeters. So then I built this quick Google Sheet to get the exact numbers that I would need. So to calculate how the tube works, we had to find the radius. So I took this value right here, A2 divided by 2, that's the radius, and then I added the wall size 2 for that ring. So the numbers I needed were 9, 9.4, 9.8, so on and so forth all the way down. So then let me quickly show you the build process. I'm going to ungroup this, and you can see that I've just got the tubes, and then those are the numbers. I typed in the 12.3, I did the wall thickness of 2, I did add a nice little bevel, I just did that for each of those, then I lined them up, and then I cut it exactly in half. That's what allows these to fit back together perfectly. So real quickly, let me regroup this and the numbers so that you can tell what the sizes are. Control G is group. Just so it looks cooler, I'm gonna make it back to yellow. I wanna move the other one back because I had this lined up for printing. D for drop. And then I also wanna add a tiny gap so it has room for 3D printing. I'm gonna just leave that at one millimeter in between it. Now, once again, friends, I am going to publish this so you can all have it. Let me show you that. The first thing I want to do is hit settings. I'm going to make that background a cooler color. Let's go with a tan. I'm going to click down here and shut off the grid because I don't need that. I think that looks pretty darn cool. Finally, we move out to the Tinkercad main page and we click up here on the gear and we choose properties. Of course, you got to make sure you give it a name. Tutorial coming soon. Of course, down below, you'll find different ways that you can reach me. Right down here, we've got the tags. Remember, friends, if you ever create anything that you want to show me, if you type HLMT23 and press enter, I search that tag almost every day to see the amazing designs. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, you do need to make it public. And then I usually say attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to follow the tutorial and gain some awesome skills. Today, though, friends, I am choosing share alike so everyone can just use this project as much as they want. Finally, hit save changes. As soon as you do that, friends, if you return to the gallery, of course, you'll see the awesome staff picks. When you do, friends, make sure you click on them and give them a reaction. That is fantastic. Friends, of course, if you see one of my projects, those reactions are always appreciated. There will be a tutorial in the top. I do also want to mention that you can take the bit.ly's and copy them to see what I'm creating lately. And also, don't forget, there may be other cool projects down below. Friends, though, right now we are going to shut off those staff picks, and I'm going to click this button so we can see more designs at once. I love clicking on the designs and give them reactions. That is so darn cool. There are so many amazing designs to check out, and if we scroll down, I actually created this last night. Look how many projects have been made in less than 12 hours. There is my project, just like I promised. Of course, it says tutorial coming soon. Those reactions are appreciated. And finally, if you want to see all of my designs, you can simply click right here on HL Mod Tech. You'll initially see all of my designs sorted by recent. So many fun projects. Of course, you can also switch to reactions to see which of my tutorials is most popular. Of course, friends, as you check out all these fun projects, there will be a tutorial in the description 
and those reactions are always appreciated. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Also down below, you'll find day one favorites, useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, don't forget in the corner, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.